Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Friday. On the last day of the month, which leads us to the last day of the pay period. So we all know what that means, guys. Let's finish out the month nice and gentle. Good to see you, Donna. Good to see you, Grant. Mary Beth, got to give her a round of applause. Mary made his good money on this stock right here. T-I-K. Remember what I, tell, I told you guys when you joined the team? It's not about me. It's about me teaching you how to play the game so we all could feed off each other. And Mary Beth helped us out with this uh, T-I-K. And I think we all, pretty much everyone here that logged in early got made good money on it. Didn't come up on my radar uh, a little bit, a, little bit uh, a couple of minutes later, but good thing she called that out. We did really well on that, but uh, that was a great call. But, uh, and that's team effort. That's, that's, that's the whole part about being, uh, being a cyber trader. You know, be, you know, be able to work together like a team. So great call. But anyway, big, big winner so far in the TIK already. I know a lot of us already did pretty well. Um, Eight o'clock this morning, it started right around $3. $3 and you can see already ran to about 520 I know a lot of us chased it right around 360 380 And, uh, you know, and then we, you can see it went all the way to 480 But I, I think a lot of us did pretty well on that. Well, I'm glad, Mary Beth, I told you when we spoke, that's what it's all about. It's all, that's what it's all about. It's us working together and making money together. All right. Uh, and you can see it's up 100%. But there are a couple other stocks here on the list that we're going to keep an eye on. I'm, I'm really focused on this solo. I'm really curious what's going on with this one right here. Uh, I feel like it's going to be a little sleeper right here, but I got my eyes on it. I'm in it right now. So we're going to um, let's see how, how it plays off at the open. I just don't like it. it doesn't trade that much movement. But she did take a big hit uh, over the course of for a long time, so let's see if see if somebody comes in there. But I'm seeing some big orders pop up over here from nowhere. Great iceberg orders out here, though, on the solo. So we can keep an eye on that. But let's talk about what happened yesterday, guys, because yesterday was a, was a huge home run. Um, I want to start off with the TNXP trade. Uh, that one, guys, 8 o'clock this morning. You look at it right here. Stock ran from $5, and this is in the pre-market. I was pretty much done in the pre-market, and I know some of you also. Ran from 5 all the way to seven fifty, and then it backed off. And then in the middle of the day, it just ran all the way to nine fifty. Now, I, regardless, remember what, you always, what I always tell you. Great traders, we never buy at the bottom, and we never sell at top. You always buy in between. But I know a lot of you guys did great, made a lot of money on it. Uh, I even put a, a really good YouTube video uh, from yesterday about all of us trading it. So that was great. I think that was our biggest winner right there. There were a couple other ones. Um, ANF also did really well, came out of the gate, went from 19 all the way to 21. You could see everything kind of makes us move early in the morning. That's where we make most of our money. Uh, a few other ones I, I just want to hit. Y-E-T-I. That one was a great short all the way down. You could see it right out of the gate, 21, all the way till 10 o'clock, ran to about 18.50 to 12, uh, 12 o'clock uh, in the afternoon, went all the way to 16.50, great, great short. Uh, Yeti, is that, is that what I think it is? That's, is that the coolers? Yeti coolers? I would think that would be, if, that, if, if, that's a, if that's the coolers, I would definitely think that's a short because, I don't know. I still, I still couldn't break myself to buy a $300 cooler. I, I, I don't know. I just don't see it. It's a great concept. Now it looks like everyone's coming out. But you all know I will go out and spend $100 on a milkshake at Serendipity. All right? <laughs> you know I would do that. Um, food is obviously always my first choice. Roku also did a nice little pop yesterday. Roku did really well. We had a nice little move on that one. You can see that one had a really nice pop from 36 all the way to 41. And uh, just two more, HIBB we're going to touch upon. That one was a nice short from 17 all the way down to 16. Trend is your friend. Don't buck that trend. K-I-R-K is the last. And that one was a nice going into the close. Kirkland, that stock, uh, really cheap little stock. Had a nice little pop. Came out of nowhere. It got halted. And then sure enough, you could see it right around. It went from 840 all the way to 940. and Had a great push going into the close. So that one kind of worked out for us. So that's what you missed yesterday. But don't worry about it. Today's a new day. And remember I told you, early bird gets the money. And it all started with it, T-I-K. So um, that's where we're at with that one. That one's going to be on the watch list. There's a couple other ones, too, I want to watch. O-G-E-N 
is another one that came up on my radar. Nice little push, nice little Fausto flag right there. Stock was a little expensive stock a while back, and looks like it's making a little bit of comeback. Cheap little stock, inexpensive, kind of like that. Solo, I told you, another one I liked. I'm in it right now. Um, kind of like sitting here, and it's really, really ticking me off. You know, I don't like being going into the close in this type of position. I'll be honest with you. Uh, the only thing, good thing that's going for this stock is that right now I'm, I'm like right, I'm, I'm, I'm breaking even. All right, but I got, I mean, we made, but I did really well at, with TIK. So can't win them all if it doesn't work out. But I don't know. I feel, I feel something. Kind of like it going into the open on this one. A couple other ones. JD, everyone remembers that one. JD's up a little bit this morning. Stock took a huge hit from 50 all the way down to the 20s. Coming back, it's got resistance from yesterday. If it does break this 2120, you can see some iceberg orders already sitting there at that resistance levels. We'll look at that one. And last is the OGEN trade right there. Nice little cheap little stock also. Uh, had a nice push yesterday. Another stock that was a little expensive. Uh, took a really big hit. Some of you remember this. We traded this stock back here uh, where the stock went from a dollar to $4 in one day. So that we know does move. And you probably go back in your journals and you'll see it. Ken says that is garbage. I know. Listen, well, sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. And we all know we're all here for the same reason, to make money. And if they're garbage, we want to stay away from them. All right, guys. So um, that's really the watch list that we got going on. Remember, today is Friday. And with Fridays, we know going into the weekend, um, you know, it's don't really get that much action on a Friday morning. And not only that, but a lot of traders don't like to get too creative on the last day of the pay period, just like we do. But let me tell you this. You got classes that are going on right now. We got phase three going on next week. Best time to learn. Make sure you're in classroom uh, because we need to learn what's going on. We had a great, great year so far. Uh, probably one of the best Octobers, Novembers I, I had in years, I'll be honest with you. Haven't seen the markets move like this much in a long, long time. But we had a great, great month. And, uh, you know, and now you have to analyze it. And now you need to know what we taught you in class about your journals and about your monthly journals. It's time to realize, are you ready to go to the next level? Are you going to go from a two to a trader three? Are you going to go from a three to a four? Are you, are you still breaking even? Don't go anywhere. Are you losing? Then maybe it's time to take a step back. But remember, it's not about the ticket charge. It's about the spread. It's about the three T's, tradable, trend, and trap, what we cover in phase one. You got to know those three things. Remember, before you buy a stock, you're already losing, and it's those three T's. Got to focus on that, and you got to make sure that you're doing well and being consistent. And then also, make sure you look at and see how, how many tickets you did this month. Because remember, if you're not trading, you're not learning. It takes 1,000 trades before somebody makes money. And it sounds like a lot, but it's really not. If you're doing your 5, 10 trades a day that you're supposed to as a day trade, you should be fine. And it doesn't mean that you're trading a lot of shares. It's all about learning and building up that consistency. But watching does not make money. Ken's at 1,001. Yeah, Ken. You probably had 3,000 knowing you. <laughs> all right, guys. Listen, good luck, everyone. Happy trading. And if I don't see you in the afternoon meeting, have a great weekend. But uh, let's see what we can do going into this close. And if you're new to CTU and you're new to the cyber group room, like, uh, like we always say, just look, listen, and learn, and you will learn. All right, guys? Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.